Tonight, families are still cleaning up after an EF2 tornado tore through Deland Tuesday. Sky 6 flew over the area where you can see roofs ripped off and trees snapped in half. One family dealing with a damaged wheelchair ramp is now getting some help from the community. Yeah, it all started with a tweet. Now the sheriff and a local hardware store are getting involved. News 6's Lauren Korn shows us how everyone is pitching in to get results. A community coming together. It just got very violent. Days after a tornado damaged parts of Ginny Bates' house and destroyed a wheelchair ramp that her boyfriend uses to get around. He gets all out of breath very easily. He can't stand the heat. It takes him a while to get his breath back. So he's on oxygen. The 80 year old woman says she paid $400 for this one last year, and it's just not feasible to pay for a new one. I put a new roof on and new windows, and that kind of drained me. I heard her situation. Bill Bates is Jenny's nephew and took to social media to get the ball rolling. I was going to make a Twitter post on Mike Kitwood's page. And and see what kind of response I got. And the response was fast and furious. I don't have a warrant for you. Sheriff Mike Chitwood personally showing up to the house on Amelia Avenue Thursday afternoon, telling the family that Lowe's contacted him wanting to help install a new ramp. Any small thing that we can do for, for our members of our community, I, I think it's, 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 it's our responsibility as human beings to do that. I never expected it. I'm really grateful. It's neighbors helping neighbors. It's us looking out for one another and making sure that we get through this crisis together. And the sheriff says Lowe's will be donating all the materials and someone will be building it free of charge. In Deland, Lauren Corn, getting results, News 6.